the borough of Queens we're at the home of the Mets City Field we've got an NL East contest tonight between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets with Dan Plezak and, and Mark DeRosa no. and today we've got a division matchup between two teams certainly New setting North their sights on Mets. October as we get deeper into the back half of the season guys. That's right Maddie. these two teams both figure to be fighting each other and the rest of the league down the stretch for postseason positioning. There's still a good amount of time left in this season but this is when each game takes on a little added significance because the races they're starting to take shape a little bit. This one ought to be a good litmus test for both of these clubs. Jacob DeGrom a right hander from Florida gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him Danny. Wow talk about a number that jumps out at you this guy's whip which is walks to hits to innings pitch is less than one coming into this start. That's not Maybe an easy thing to do Washington. that tells me one thing the not only side. is his stuff good Play. but he wipes yeah. people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. Here it comes. Trey Turner is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Fellas, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty V, what we're seeing there is a team D row. They're starting to put the gas pedal down right now. They're starting to get some length in this division. Yeah, this team's playing well. They're playing with confidence. You can tell guys are walking to the plate with a swagger. Their pitchers are taking them out and executing pitches down and away. This is a good ball club. The 1 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Smith is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Batting second. The third baseman, number two, Luis Garcia. Now at the plate, here is Luis Garcia. Here's the first pitch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Now here it comes. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Juan Soto to the plate now. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Guys having a monster year, leading in two of the three triple crown categories. Top five in RBIs. If he can improve on that, he has a legit shot to win the crown. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Yep, in previous duels with DeGrom he's got five base hits in 27 at bats. He also has one home run. Nope. Outside with the breaking pitch and he falls behind at 2 and 0. Oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to three and zero. Oh. Look out! All over the place now, three and zero. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Swinging on three and zero. Oh. Now three balls and a strike. A little bouncer. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. 
So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First pitch on its way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Count even at one and one to the Nationals' first baseman. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Soto, the runner at first with two gone. Misses ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. In the dirt here. In time as he just gets the tag down. Nationals go quietly. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. John Lester will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He'll lead things Looks off like here baseman. in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. So guys these Nationals as they enter play here tonight they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. J.D. David. Set to get his evening at the plate started. J.D. Davis comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. And now the first pitch. That's popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Lester has hurled more than 2,700 major league innings in his career and hangs an ERA just a little over three and a half. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Lester's 2 0 home. Count remains at 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated that fastball. Hurt. Every the hitter thinks view. that, hey, they can do something Jump with that. Ahead. But most of the time, you yeah. get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. So stepping in is Dominic Smith. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. Boy, and also right up among the leaders in home runs and RBIs. This guy's having an epic season, and he has an outside shot to win the Triple Crown. Now the first pitch here from Lester. That's a ball. Two oh, out, nobody no on. Fouled off. One and two to Dominic Smith. Lifted down the line in left. And that is down as that could be two bases. And he is in the second with a two out double. 
And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take Batting a look at the team leaders for the most the two-base base hits this year. And we find that these guys currently sit oh, in the number Marco. three position in the circuit in that category. So here's Pete Alonzo. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. One and oh, here it is. Seared down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch, and if he's got that going, especially early, it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. The count now at two and one. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. You would think in this situation maybe with a base open he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Three and one here it is. Hit hard to short. Turner fields it cleanly. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Josh Bell the next to hit. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Now the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Count now a ball and a strike. And it's one and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. High in the air down the right field line. Conforto is there, one away. That is fifth. The second baseman, Starlin Castro. And now in the box, Starlin Castro. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Mm, two and oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Now the 2 0. -oh. Down the left field line and deep. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. That is it. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. At the plate now is Mitch Hanniger. First pitch on its way. 
And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's four for 11. He's set and the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the heater in? You can't do both. You have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes. Henniger leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Washington. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Shortstop, Francisco Lindor. First pitch of the A.B. now. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. And he chased it in the dirt. Gomes has it. And he makes the throw to first. Lindor is retired, and there's one away. Batting six. So next to hit is field. Michael Conforto, Michael. and he enters play Conforto. today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now with the plate the is Kyle team. Lewis. He's looking to get things going at the plate. It has not been going his way of late. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Outside, 3 and 0 now. James McCann would be next. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hey. 3 and 1. I got 3 and 1. 3 ball, 1 strike. Hey. That's in there and it'll run the count to full 3, three and 2. Three. Three. 
Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Welcome back to City Field, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Mets this season. And looking at their stats, it's safe to say they've got plenty of swing and miss stuff as they come into this one ranked first in the league in strikeouts. One member of the pitching staff told me it's one of the best he's been a part of, at least in terms of pure talent. He said every guy brings something special to the mound, and they have a lot of fun feeding off each other. He added, if one guy strikes out 10, I want to strike out 11. We're always trying to best each other. Back to you, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Victor. Victor Robles digging in now and as you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Too high one and oh. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Now the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. A high fastball is in there. Yeah this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs it's a game of fastballs you calibrate everything off the heater surprising take right there. And he lays off their ball four so the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Lester. Next to hit is John Lester and we'll likely see him square around a bunt. And now the first pitch. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Fastball just inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 2 0 on the way. Popped him up. Davis is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first and that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land Trey Turner. He's set here it comes and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. One and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter. Hey I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in we'll take it. The slider up into the 90s there. It's one and two. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. Now a throw over and the runner back safely. The one two. Hey that's a nice take by the batter right there but that's a non competitive off speed pitch got to do better to at least entice a swing. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 
2 2 one more time. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Robles, base runner at first with one out. Hit on the ground toward the left. And there's the first hit of the game for the Nats. So a long at bat has a positive dividend when all said and done. Yeah, absolutely. They're not all beauties in the box score. He's able to get that ball through the left side for a base hit. Way to grind it out. At the plate now, Luis Garcia. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Lewis is there, two gone. Here now is Juan Soto. Two on, two out for him here in the third. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. And this is high, a ball and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. That's going to be high two and two now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. The 2 2 pitch. Hard hit towards center. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. That's leave a pair. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Into the box, James McCann. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Now here's the pitch. And Lester back to work as this is swung on and missed for the first strike. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Strike two up in the zone. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Into the box, Jacob deGrom. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Wind up and the 0 1. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Mets pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. The 
just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really Number sharp six. out there, guys. So here's Jeff McNeil. As Lester jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Oh, 2 now from Lester. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order, all via the punch out. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. New inning set to get underway and digging into bat next the big bat of Josh Bell the old adage pitching and defense have been stellar so far they've certainly kept both offenses in check. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning Dan does this continue or does somebody score here. I think this continues for a while Matt both of these pitchers are throwing very well throwing strikes having good command of their off speed pitches this is going to be one of those low scoring affairs he pulls this one high and deep to right center field out of here into the visitors bullpen. Solo home run here off the bat of Josh Bell. Home run number 16 for him on the year. As the Nationals strike first, it's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Here's Starlin Castro. The second baseman. Starlin. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's 1 and 1. Two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Popped up. Alonzo in foul ground, one down. The bat. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. Mitch. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Now here's the first offering. And he hits it hard to the right side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. To the plate now, Jan Gomes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far.
comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. And the pitch on 2-1. and one. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. Henniger, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. In now, Victor Robles as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Seven homers and an even 40 RBIs. Here's the 1 0. Hit back toward the mound. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that went right up the middle. Stepping in now, John Lester, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And it's fouled away. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Two men are on with two men out. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Nats on the board first, courtesy of the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Washington. J.D. Davis the next to bat. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last the inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Now the first pitch here from Lester. The 1-0. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Huge swing of the bat right there. Just hooking foul. Would have tied the game. I know there's still a lot of game left, but that was potentially a huge momentum swing there. Going to have to find a way to refocus and continue this at bat. The 2 1 home. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center, giving Chase his Robles. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he finds himself in a flat footed tie for the National League lead in that category. 
Next for the Mets, Dominic Smith. He doubled his last time up. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. And that misses for ball one. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Bullet back up the middle. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the okay. night. And that'll bring us to our Mets man. leaderboard. And as you can see, he's currently second on the ball club in that department. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. A ball of no strikes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch a swing and a ground ball to third wow, the throw pulls him off the bag and this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face so now here is Francisco Lindor trying here to plate the tying run from second. First delivery to him. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three run shot to left center, number 25 for him on the year. And the Mets have taken a 3 to 1 lead. Pitcher making a move his feet right there probably upset him a little bit. He dug right back in didn't lose his toe hold and absolutely clobbered that pitch. Standing in now Michael Conforto as he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Lester ready the 1 0 pretty well hit deep down the line in right but that's back into the seats foul ready to deal here's the 1 1 line to the right side and he will make the play out there and there are two away now the center fielder number four Kyle. Now into the box, Kyle Lewis. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. But the big blow of the inning comes right here a three run home run. We played four. It's now three to one Mets. Welcome back to Flushing Queens. Before we get back to baseball, let's check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. 
and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, thanks, Heidi. Here now is Trey Turner, and at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. High in the air down the right field line. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0 2, 1 and 2, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. A ball and two strikes now. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA and as you see there he's sitting in second place in the National League in that department. Striding in now for the Nats Luis Garcia he flew out in his last A.B. First pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Davis shading to his right, two gone. Two down, no one on base, and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. First delivery to him. Now a foul tip at the plate, and you could hear that one ring off the catcher's mask from up here. It's 0 and 1. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. One run, four hits, one error thus far for the Nationals. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. Fooled by the speed and location of that one, it's 2 and 2. That's been a great pitch for him all night able to push and pull the throttle a little bit throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty change up with good arm action. The 2 2 one more time. He spoils another one and will do it again. Here's another 2 2. Full count now, 3 and 2. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2 2 count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Nationals gone in order. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Ready now is James McCann. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame. But clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The 1-0 home. 
is a fastball down below the knees. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Line toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. So now to the plate, Jacob deGrom. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now Lester's 0 1. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's Number the advantage six. of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Jeff McNeil. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. No hits to this point. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Hits are now even at four apiece. Up high, two and one now. Runner goes for second. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to third. Throw won't get him. Up next to the back, the third baseman, JD. And stepping in, J.D. Davis. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. From the stretch. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Davis hits a little over the 270 mark. The 1 0. the ground to second base this could be two Castro has it one there on to first but not in time as he beats it out well they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper they only get one and that allows the runner from third to score runner at first with two gone and that'll bring up the left handed bat of Dominic Smith. As a look, now the pitch. Ball one. 
Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. And that last pitch was number 74 for Lester in this one. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 2 2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We're through five here at the ballpark. Mets out in front, four to one. And now here is Josh Bell. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard but you have to give credit to where it's deserved the pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. This is just off the outside corner ball two and through just five innings he's coming up on a hundred pitches now. Yeah Matty I think one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up and Dero if you're the offense right now you're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah usually the starting pitcher doesn't get to see the lineup three times through. I wouldn't be shocked if there's a move made to the bullpen here. Three oh pitch. A swing and a miss strike one. This guy's been really on point so far but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four five and six right here. Tough pitch to lay off but he did and it's ball four so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. Yeah and as a starter the last now thing you want to do is let a team base. answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Joey Lucchese takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Starlin Castro will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. From the stretch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. This is on the ground over to first to second for one on to first so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Gotta love that out of your reliever right. The first battery faces he gets to roll over into a double play. Pulled the right string that time skip. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses it's ball one. Singled last time up. The 1 0 is a ball down and away. 
Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is nowhere close, and it's a four pitch walk. Now batting, catcher, Jan Gomes. Next up is Jan Gomes, been a strikeout victim twice in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Henniger is off a of first with two away. Ball two now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Pitch is popped up. McNeil is there for it. And that ends the inning. Nationals leave one. They trail it four to one. Will Harris is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. And now Pete Alonzo. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Pete Alonzo. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there for strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. Here it comes on nothing and two. Softly hit to short. Turner has it. Throw to first is in time for the first out. And with one away, we'll bring you a look at the current division standings, and you can see these guys have their work cut out for them if they want to make noise in the division. Francisco Lindor will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. A three run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ballgame to this point. The pitch. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 and 0. Oh. Now the pitch. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Line drive base hit. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. to the at bat a check on first hey. 
to the plate now Michael Conforto out in front of it strike one 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hey three foul balls in a row right here searching for that put away stuff. The 0 2 pitch. On the ground to the right side. And there's his first base hit in this one. And he's safe. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Runners are at first and third, one away. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by Castro. To second for one. Relay to Bell. The double play. And that's how the inning ends. Mets leave one as they hold on to a four to one lead. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. Victor. And now the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ryan Zimmerman will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. First offering on its way. As he'll take a look at ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. We're in the seventh now. 4 to 1 our score to this point. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. The 2 1. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality AB and get this line going. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. A bouncer to the left side. High hop, and he bare hands it. Wow. Digging in next, Trey Turner. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. 
I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Very weakly on the ground. Hit in the air to left. Smith gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Austin Voss will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. So here is James McCann. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Here's the pitch. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Strike two is the fastball that's let go. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. Just hung in there on that one. Here he comes again, 1 2. A great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Now the three and two pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Brandon Nimmo steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Now the first pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. The average coming in at 266, 15 long balls and 46 driven in. The wind up and the 0 1. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this Number inning. Six. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate now Jeff McNeil. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. And now pitch on the way. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup. Start passing the baton a little bit. We got ourselves some action. In there, a base hit. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. 
Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. In now, J.D. Davis. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. It could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Set and the 1 0 pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two 0 count, the pitch outside. Whoa, 3 and 0 now. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit and a 3 0 count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Hit out towards second. Castro to his left. He's there. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets lead it 4 to 1. Seth Lugo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leading off the inning, it'll be Luis Garcia, and they could use a spark from him here. Luis Garcia. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball, 1 and 1. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deliver the one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box now, Juan Soto. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Past matchups against Seth Lugo. He's gone three for eight. He's taken him deep once. Yanked hard but foul to the right. Bases are empty one man out. Fouled off. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And that is off the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double.
So now to the plate, Josh Bell. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Soto leads off second with one gone in the inning. Popped him up. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. So here's Starlin Castro, runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's the 0 1. Eighth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Working for the punch out and the offering. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Washington. They trail it four to one. Stepping in once again is Dominic Smith in his career versus this pitcher. He's two for four. He also has one home run. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in, and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. And now, pitch on the way. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Waiting on it is Henniger. He's got it one away. Now First baseman. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. One out, nobody on. Lays off the slur there, and it's three and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. 
And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Lindor. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh one, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Up next to the net, the right fielder, Michael. Good. Next, here is Michael Conforto. His prior history in this matchup, he's gone three for eight. He's taken him deep once. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he rips it on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Up next to the net. Little ground ball with the eyes right there. He might have been a little bit out in front, but I don't care. That's a bullet knock in the box score tomorrow morning. Into the box, Kyle Lewis. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-0. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Alonzo at second, Conforto at first, two out in the inning. Two and one the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Popped up. Bell has room in foul territory, and he makes the play to end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We've played eight full. The Mets lead this one four to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Trevor May comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So kicking off the top of the ninth is Mitch Hanniger as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. They look like they're up against it here down three on the road trying to come back against a closer. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing in one may rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen at least in terms of giving up base hits he's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Comes set and the 0 1. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0 and 2 now. Made him look silly with that one. The pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. One two. And a 
swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Now here's the pitch. Jan Gomes comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. His career numbers against this pitcher, he brings a 4 for 12 line. He also has one home run. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. And even 2-2 count to the Nationals catcher. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Too high. Ball three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he fouls this one off. Hit in the air to shallow center. McNeil is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. At the plate, Victor Robles, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Counts even at one and one to Victor Robles. Bases are empty here with two men out. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. And it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Hey, this game is close right here, but I'll take you inside the mindset even if it was a blowout. I know the team's down to their final out, but you'll be hard-pressed to ever find an offensive player give away an A-B. Nice infield single right there to keep the line moving. Drew Mendoza will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. From the stretch as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He'll enter play here at 304. Six home runs and 23 driven in. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Hey, without question, he got him leaning out over right there. Four pitches away, I'd be diving out over the plate as well. And then he dominates him on the inside corner. Nice pitch. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two.
Last strike now for the Nats. Fouled off. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. A runner on first with two away. Throw over to the bag, oh, and the runner will get back standing. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, there's another save, but that's just not any other save. That's save number 50 for the reliever in his career. Well on his way to a nice career. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The New York Mets took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jacob deGrom earns his staff leading 16th victory of the season. Trevor May records the save his 43rd of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New